yeah, it's on. Oh yeah, I can see. Yeah, it's on. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, that's okay. And for agreeing to give the interview. Oh no worries, it's like, that's I fine. I think I think you are a perfect case because you started last year. Hmm. And we finished in a, in four weeks, I think it was. Right? Yeah, something like that, I think. Yeah, we had four weeks from January ish. Yeah. And uh, after four weeks, you continued losing weight yeah. and kept it off and still losing weight. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, so it's one year you are maintaining your result and actually progressing further, right? Yeah. Yeah. Own. Yeah, so I think in total I've lost about two stone, just over two stone. Two stones, excellent. I can't remember what that is in kilos. Um, mm -hmm. And like during that year as well, I went traveling for two months. So for two months, I hadn't, didn't weigh myself, hadn't tracked any meals. Like I was just eating what I was doing and I still managed to sort of like maintain. Excellent. So, yeah, it's gone well. So you maintained intuitively during your travels? Yeah, yeah. So um, I was staying in a house in India and we were cooked for. So I didn't have any choice over meals or anything. So somehow mm -hmm. I managed to maintain sort of intuitively, which was good. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> and, think it would happen. <laughs> and prior, uh, prior to our program, did you try any diets? What was the situation? Um, I didn't try any sort of like specific diets like um you know like name diets I didn't try any of those but I would just be like okay I'm gonna lose weight mm -hmm. and then try and eat healthily maybe go to the gym a bit more but not really know what I was doing and I would mm -hmm. maybe lose like a kilo or two and then it would just come back on so it was just sort of very up and down up and down no real sort of plan or way to lose weight kind of thing Mm -hmm. so um it's good, yeah yeah, yeah so um, bad diets. and this uh, and this is excellent uh, that you like, you know didn't spoil your relationships with food with any fat diets yeah. and didn't do anything extreme and your metabolism was fine and uh, you're now doing it in same no extreme ways right just with more yeah. system and structure yeah, so you're counting. Mm -hmm. it just feels like really um, easy, not restrictive. It's just, yeah, really easy to do and maintain. Uh, what's your calories now? What? I don't, I don't know. I, when I came back from India, I didn't track. So I stopped tracking. Mm -hmm. um, and I've lost about half a stone since coming back about three or four kilos I think um but I'm not I'm not too sure I've not tracked in a while mm -hmm. I think around the same as you set them originally which mm -hmm. is about 16 40 I think but I don't know I've not tracked them. so you you tracked uh, before so well when we started yeah yeah, yeah so I was tracking that's my method yeah which <laughs> I really like, uh -huh. like I knew where I could fit things in Mm -hmm. If I wanted something, I didn't have to not have it. I could just fit it in and work the numbers out, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, in uh, June. Um, and then, and now you probably eat more intuitively. You already know how many calories every food may contain. Okay. Yeah. And you know that if you eat, for example, I don't know, what's your favorite treat? Um, a cake. Yeah. <laughs> for example, a cake, then you have to save a little bit of calories yeah. uh, before, after, just to be more moderate. And you know that uh, the cake is only probably six, seven, maximum 100 calories. And in the big picture, it, it doesn't yeah. ruin your results, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can afford treats and still lose or maintain or you just sort of fit them in where you want them to exactly uh, so like with my system you started tracking calories mm -hmm. tracking weight weighing every day probably more yeah, or less. 
and this showed you that like you can eat that much calories and you can eat treats and yeah. you do not have to train every day as well and still mm -hmm. gradually gradually be losing weight without yeah. any extreme diets exercising every day mm. yeah so I think I was training maybe like three or four times a week maybe three mostly but mm -hmm. like really sustainable really um easy to do just tracking and weighing as well so then I could just see sort of the the gradual decline but yeah mm -hmm. it was it wasn't sort of intense every day you need to go to the gym it was enjoyable as well I really enjoyed myself training excellent so it's patience it's consistency yeah yeah so I think patience probably is um, something that I would struggle with because I'd be like oh I've been eating good for like a week now I should see something and I wouldn't mm -hmm. necessarily and then I might see a drop a bit later on so it was just mm -hmm. patience and knowing that I'd kept up with what I was meant to be doing so at some point I will see the result I meant to mm -hmm. so patience and consistency as well yeah so where where are you at now you uh, are you maintaining are you losing what's what's your um situation now as compared to same point last year so um I'm maintaining at the minute I've been maintaining for maybe about two months Mm -hmm. um which is nice and over Christmas as well maintenance. over Christmas maintenance it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> crazy um <laughs> but yeah so I've maintained um so that's where I am now um and my uh BMI is healthy so like mm -hmm. for the past few years like my new year's resolutions have always been get a healthy BMI get a healthy BMI rather than being overweight whereas this year I'm in the healthy BMI and I don't need that resolution anymore which is really nice yeah this is perfect i'm so so happy with your results i'm happy that you you know continued losing weight without me maintained without me you know what you do um you exercise properly you do smart exercise resistance training you do yeah. not overdo it uh, don't do any cardio right just no no cardio i think i ran in october maybe that's the last time i did cardio but no, no real cardio. Yeah, eating everything, uh, affording treats. Yeah. Uh, looking amazing in clothes. <laughs> yeah, I feel so much better in clothes. But I think, yeah, I, I think I've dropped about two dress sizes, but I just feel more comfortable in myself. You know, I get ready to go out and I'm happy to leave the house rather than being like, oh, I don't like the way this fits here. And now I'm, I'm really, like, happy with how I am and the results. Excellent. And I have one more question. Um, what, were there any, well, during, during our program, did mm. you have any obstacles, any hardships, or was, was there any, anything that you can remember? Um, so at the beginning of February, I had this um, problem with my jaw where my mouth wouldn't open. Mm -hmm. So um, that was quite difficult. And that made eating a lot more of a challenge and um, but I think just sort of um thinking about it thinking about the um the different options that I had and then trying to f having my um calories and macros written out was really helpful because then I could see what foods I could eat that fitted into that mm -hmm. so that was really mm -hmm. helpful to sort of have it the numbers all written down for me when I wasn't worrying too much about oh I can eat this but mm, I'm not sure so mm -hmm. that's really helpful to sort of deal with that obstacle. And how about during exams? Did you find it more challenging? Um, I was definitely a lot more sedentary during exams. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd go to the library and sit there for six, seven hours rather than, um, you know, being able to move as much as I would. But I walk you know walk there walk back make sure I got a decent walk in maybe walk the long way around home and um, mm. still try and maintain going to the gym and also and um, just make sure that I brought like health healthy snacks so sort of like fruit um you know and different things like that rather than snack like filling up on all the junk 
So I could mm. still sit there and have a snack if I wanted to, but it was just healthier rather than crisps or sweets or chocolate or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. A perfect client did everything as prescribed, didn't doubt, didn't question it, and was mm. very, very consistent and patient. Uh, that's that's the key to success. <laughs> yeah, I think just like you know, trusting that you you know what sort of I need to do more than I do, and just accept that you know if you told me to do something, I'd be like, okay, you know, you know what to do. That's what I'll do, and follow it. And just I think it's difficult sometimes to put your trust in someone when they say, oh, you need to eat this much, especially if it seems more than what you're used to. But just mm -hmm. trusting that they know what they're doing and going with the plan and it worked yeah easy job for me it was <laughs> uh thank you very much congratulations one more time with your exams oh thank you are you a doctor now no in august in august in august so a little bit longer nearly cool yeah. thank you very much um for your time i wish you further success with your Becoming a doctor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for your help as well. It's been incredible. Like, I'm so pleased with all the results and all the help that you gave me. And I feel like um, you've educated me as well. So then I can take those tools and continue it on rather than just being given, you know, like eat this amount of chicken or this amount of rice or whatever. I feel like I have the tools now to go forward. Yeah, exactly. You can, you can eat what you want and mm. nobody knows better what what your body needs and what you want to eat how you want to design your mm. diet of course in um, in limits yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know the limits you know you yeah. know how to design the healthy diet for yourself yeah. and that's the most important mm. yeah probably maybe i'll see you in Holland barbell club when i finally get there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I finally get there. <laughs> they, um, hang on. They've, there's a new taster session on the 21st. Oh, I'll take a look. Mm -hmm. I'll send you the email. If you want. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All um, right. Probably will join then. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you too. For your results, for your time today. And good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. bye.